As a creator that likes to take my work with me on the go, a two-in-one device with a pen, kickstand, and keyboard is my ideal form factor. They can easily adapt to many different situations without the need of accessories, so you can keep working no matter where you find yourself while on the go. The Lenovo Chromebook Duet I have here certainly fits that description, and at around $300 including Lenovo's own USI pen, this whole package is among one of the cheapest standalone drawing tablets on the market right now. I spent a good amount of time testing out this device, seeing if it could fit into my workflow. In this video, I'm going to talk about my experience with the Lenovo Chromebook Duet and who I think this device is for. Overall, the device is really snappy and responsive. The kickstand is sturdy enough, if a bit fiddly, but it does its job well. The same can be said about the keyboard, but unfortunately not about the trackpad. It feels very inconsistent and trying to navigate Chrome OS or interface with apps doesn't instill confidence. Being my first Chromebook, Chrome OS takes some getting used to, but I was happy to have found enough of my usual apps or alternatives were available. I still find it pretty awkward not to be able to organize my most recent files onto a proper desktop, but Chrome OS is constantly updated and you can now pin files to the app shelf. In certain situations, I also found backing up or trying to use one file across different apps very cumbersome, but then again, a lot of apps are moving towards more of a cloud-based system, so this might not affect everyone's workflow. Chrome OS also has some stylus tools built in for annotating and note taking, as well as a screen recording feature that was recently added. New Chromebook owners also have access to perks, which are usually extended free trials of apps or just flat out free downloads of paid apps. One of the more interesting perks available at the moment is a three month free trial of Clip Studio Paint, by far the most powerful and comprehensive drawing app available on Chrome OS. It works smoothly in tablet mode with great touch gestures and also allows you to take full advantage of the keyboard with customizable shortcuts and commands. Other apps that support keyboards can be hit or miss. Painter and to some extent Sketchbook provide a good experience both in tablet mode and desktop mode, but do not offer customization like Clip Studio Paint does. The other drawing apps I tested didn't seem to have any response to keyboard inputs. This is kind of one of the places where the Lenovo Chromebook Duet started to lose its appeal for me. It's unfortunate to have a hardware keyboard that has little to no effect in many of the platform's drawing apps. The opposite can be true as well in the case of Krita, an Android version of a desktop drawing app. In Krita, the keyboard functions well and is customizable, but when it comes to touch gestures, I feel it's severely lacking. Other places where the Lenovo Chromebook Duet breaks down for me is with the pen. There's noticeable parallax with Lenovo's USI pen. This means that there can be distance between the tip of the pen and the cursor on the screen, which makes it difficult to say connect two lines, and draw precise details. The strange thing is, if you make a line with the pen at a 90 degree angle to the screen, it's actually very accurate. But at more comfortable drawing angles, the drift becomes more apparent. It's not unusable, and many drawing tablets do experience some kind of parallax, but I feel that professionals used to higher grade drawing tablets are gonna find this frustrating, while amateurs or new artists might not even notice the difference. Regardless, this parallax issue limited my use of the Chromebook Duet to more of a sketchbook rather than a full-fledged drawing tablet. It's really unfortunate because the device is capable of taking on some larger projects and the productivity side of things was great. For now, it's very difficult for me to recommend the Lenovo Chromebook Duet to those that want to make complex illustrations at home or on the go. The parallax issue aside, I found that pro-level functionality among drawing apps was limited to Clip Studio Paint, and being a subscription model, I feel that professionals and experienced users would have their time and money better spent on another device. That being said, professionals that understand the limitations of the device and who are willing to compromise can take advantage of the Lenovo Chromebook Duet as a very nice sketchbook that also doubles as a good productivity machine. And for the price tag, I feel that many will be willing to compromise. Young artists looking for their first tablet, or say students that want to occasionally draw in between classes, can certainly have a good time with this device. Overall, if you're looking for a device to occasionally draw on, or if you're looking for a second device that's very economical as well as compact and portable, it's very easy to come to terms with that parallax issue, especially for this price tag. The experience I had with the Lenovo Chromebook Duet really gave me hope for the future that as artists we can someday use Chromebooks as our daily device. The way that Chrome OS splits the difference between a tablet and desktop I think is something that would be really appealing to artists. Something that I don't often hear talked about that could be a great benefit to artists is the ability to interact with mobile exclusive apps in the way that we typically interact with desktop software. For artists who heavily rely on social media to promote their business, being able to type out a post while having multiple windows open is a really powerful aspect of Chrome OS. And once you've tried it, you won't want to go back to posting on your phone. 
Other than social media, mobile apps like those that interface with cameras or even games can benefit greatly from having a trackpad and keyboard. The cost of Chromebooks also tends to come in at a much lower price point than competing devices, but it can still perform well in 2D drawing apps. I'm very much looking forward to the next generation of Chromebooks. If they're anything like the Lenovo Chromebook Duet, then I think artists have a lot to look forward to. I'm definitely going to try to take a look at more Chromebooks on the channel, so get subscribed to see that. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I really enjoyed my time with the Lenovo Chromebook Duet. If it weren't for that parallax issue, I think I would have been very comfortable taking this as my daily device. But I do see a future where Chromebooks have less of these issues and allow artists to fully take advantage of the two-in-one form factor while they're on the go. And if you do have a solution for that parallax issue, I would love to know because that would actually make this device something that I could take with me daily. I'm Skipen and thank you so much for watching.